Hello students in my last lecture i had explained solutions of in text questions also in my previous lecture i had provided you solution of ncert questions related to acceleration uniform and non uniform motion now today we shall introduce equations of motion what is the meaning of equations of motion when an object moves along a straight line with uniform acceleration then it is possible to relate its velocity acceleration during motion and the distance covered by it and this relation is called equation of motion we have three sets of equation c1 by 1 first equation v is equal to u plus at suppose this is equation number 1 s is equal to ut plus half at square equation number 2 and 2as is equal to v square minus u square or you can write it as v square is equal to u square plus 2s equation 3 now with the help of these equations we can solve numericals related to different types of motions accelerated uniformly accelerated motion now see what is the meaning of these terms where u represents the initial velocity initial velocity v represents the final velocity final velocity t represents the time taken a represents the acceleration that is rate of change of velocity we had seen in our previous classes acceleration may be both positive and negative and i had stated you a term for negative acceleration it is retardation or deceleration also here as is distance distance covered distance covered now we have already read what is the si unit of these things so the si unit of distance is meter the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square the si unit of time is second here both u and v are velocity and si unit of velocity is meter per second meter per second so these are si units si units of different physical quantity which we shall use during solving different numerical problems now you will see in your ncert textbook that there is particular name for these equations so this equation one is also called velocity translation so v is equal to u plus at is also called velocity velocity time relation that is variation in velocity where v is final velocity u is initial velocity a is acceleration this is u plus at v is equal to u plus at so if any object starts to move with initial velocity u then under uniform acceleration a in time t its velocity becomes v it's why it is called velocity time relation again this was equation number 1 second second equation what we have seen s is equal to ut plus half at square in this equation 
we shall see that if any object starts to travel with initial velocity u and in time t its acceleration becomes a then what will be the distance traveled distance traveled will be s so this relation is also called it is also called it is called what position distance means position time relation time relation position time relation that is how position changes with time and equation 3 which we have seen v square is equal to u square plus 2s what is here this equation has no time so this equation is free from time if we shall face numericals in which time is not given then we shall try to solve such types of numericals with the help of this equation. So if any object starts to move with initial velocity u and under uniform acceleration a its final velocity becomes v then with the help of this equation we can relate initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration and distance. So it is called it is called position velocity relation position velocity relation now it is very important here that in class 9 we have read graphical proof of these equations you will see in different books there is given mathematical proof also but according to our NCRT CBSE norms according to our CBSE syllabus we have to prove all these three equations graphically so one by one we shall see graphical proof of equations during examination you will see that derive velocity time relation graphically so now it should be very clear to you that what is velocity time relation if there is term written velocity time relation that you will consider it is v is equal to u plus at if during examination it is written that derive position time relation then certainly this equation should come into our consideration so this is position time relation and if you have given derived graphically position velocity relation then this one is position velocity relation so go through these facts two times three times and try really learn what is velocity time relation what is position time relation and what is position velocity relation so first of all try to learn these things and now we shall graphically prove one by one all the three equations of motion. Thanks. Thank you very much.